Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. Our scripture reading for today, Matthew chapter 17, verses 14, 15, and 16, and it reads as follows. And when they came to the crowd, a man came up to him and kneeling before him said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and he suffers terribly. We talked about that last week. For often he falls into the fire and often into the water. Verse 16. And I brought him to your disciples and they could not heal him. Now remember that Peter, James, and John were with Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. The other nine disciples were left at the bottom of the mountain. And so this individual, this man, had come to these disciples with an epileptic son that was possessed by a demon, and he asked them to cast the demon out, and they couldn't do it. So while Jesus is in his glory and radiance and splendor on top of the Mount of Transfiguration, the contrast to that was the earthly affairs that Satan oftentimes has a grip on, where this young man, possessed by a demon, an epileptic, going into these seizures, could not be helped by the disciples. What a contrast. Jesus in his glory, Satan having his way with this young man and the disciples being able to do nothing about it. Isn't that the way life is? We think about what it's going to be like when we're with Jesus in his glory and radiance and all the problems of this world will fade away. But down here, we have political strife. We have sicknesses. We have disease. We have wars and rumors of wars. We have conflict in our families. Sometimes things don't go right. Sometimes we struggle with just the circumstances of our life. I mean, the devil seems to be winning the day, does he not? And so many times... The earthly affairs are so contrasted to what our life will be someday when we're in the glories of heaven. And so what do we do until we get there? We keep the faith. We keep trusting in Jesus. We know that indeed a better day is coming. And when Christ comes back or when we leave planet Earth through death, pass through that portal or into the glories of heaven, what a day that will be. And I've heard... I've said that a lot, and I know you've heard that a lot from me, but I want to tell you, we've got to have a heavenly perspective. Yes, we still want to be of earthly good. We want to help people. We want to serve people. We want to testify the grace of God. We want to let people know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. But until we get there, until we get to heaven, that's what we're to do. But when we get there, all the problems of this world will be gone. And isn't that what we're supposed to do? to keep our eyes fixed on the glories of heaven, to know that through like stories like the transfiguration, God is giving us a glimpse of what our future glory will be. But until then, we must, as Jesus said, we must through much tribulation enter the kingdom of heaven. I want to tell you a little story about that. Back in 1991, my wife and I got this wild idea that we would take our four kids to Disneyland. That was way before Disney World and Disneyland was woke. Um, And so we said, okay, we're going to take this trip. We had a Dodge minivan, 1989 Dodge minivan, not a grand caravan, but a, a little minivan. And so all six of us piled into that thing. It took us like five days to get there because we went to Washington, D.C. first. And I mean, the kids were fighting and, you know, they're spilling stuff on the floor and they were poking each other. And I was doing one of these things where I was driving and pointing my finger at them in the rearview mirror, you know, that kind of thing. And about half halfway to Disneyland, I turned to my wife, Disney World, I turned to my wife and I said, this better be worth it. (laughs) And so she said, just wait. And so we got to Disney World. It was in January. The weather was perfect. The flowers were blooming. Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck greeted us. I mean, it was a marvelous environment. You know, what do they call it? The greatest place on earth or whatever. Boy, that particular day, it really was. And after about an hour, hour and a half, I turned to my wife and I said, this was all worth it. We go through a lot of struggles down here on planet Earth, do we not? And until we get to the glories of heaven, we sometimes wonder, is my faith relationship with Jesus really worth it? Couldn't I just compromise my ethics, go with the flow, reject the faith and do what I want to do? 
No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. You want to keep your faith rooted in Christ. Keep walking in repentance and trust in Jesus day in and day out. And when you get to glory, to the glories of heaven and you're with the Lord Jesus, do you know what you can say? This was all worth it. And until then, we fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and is seated at the right hand of God. When we get to heaven's glory, and what a contrast, the story today tells us the contrast between the glories of heaven, being with Jesus, what Jesus will be like when we see him face to face, in all his glory, radiance, and splendor, and we'll be like him. We've talked about that before, contrasted with the way our world and the way our life is now. Boy, oh boy, what a day that will be when we're with Jesus forever and ever and ever. And that is today's daily truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Pastor Dave Allman is the pastor of Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.